Order some Keith's heated kit. I've had a waistcoat, heated waistcoat for a long time now. I wouldn't be without it during the winter. But uh, I have a bit of poor circulation in my feet. So I'm going to try out the uh, heated soles. So there's the small controller, the lightweight controller for it. Cable to attach to the battery with the fuse. Y cable to go down the inside of your trousers. And two soles, which you can trim by the looks of it. So I'll fit those and see how I get on in a couple of months' time. I've got a few winter rides planned. Now, I'm gonna have two Kais power connectors coming out there from under the front of the tank, so I'll need to mark one as the one for the insoles, because it's fused differently and I don't wanna mix them up. Plenty of space on the back of a Gen 3 battery to store the excess cable. Then my two power leads, two Kais power leads, one with a little white tab, so I know that's my boots. So there now, there's my two keys. Uh, power connections out, handily at the front of the tank, and they'll be uh, easily going to my waistcoat for the connections. Next, see if these insoles fill, fill my uh, clod hopper boots. Um, I'm a size 11, these TCX are probably size 12. One size below them was a bit too tight, so I'm hoping I can get away without cutting these down at all. Let's see. Okay, they fit my size 47 boots perfectly with no cutting. Um, I had to take my uh, current insoles out. They were just for a bit of padding. They were nice actually. Uh, these are a bit firmer, but the benefit of the heat will be great for the winter. And my Y cable is just going to go down and connect into those on the bottom of my trousers. So ah, they're going to be a bit stupid like, but if I'm all day on the, on the road on a bike, uh, I'll live with that. You won't see these. They'll be underneath me. Trousers. So that's easy. My lightweight controller into my uh, power outlet. Hold it on for a couple of seconds, it powers up. Four seconds. Max, high, medium, low. So that'll be easy adjustable. And you come down, a wide connection. One length of this is shorter than the other. So obviously make sure you do the shorter side and the side where it goes into your trousers. Because the longer side's gonna have to go over your crotch and down the other leg. And nice bit of heat there on the on the boot. Let's leave it maximum. See how warm it gets. There's the white piece. In the boots. So as I say, one side short than the other. That left hand side. So that'll be the side that go down my left hand leg. And this side around my crotch, down the other to the right hand leg. So I've been out all day on the bike and I tried the onboard, onboard the Kais heated vest. There's connectors for left and right gloves and a single connector for your soles. So you can control your vest and your heated soles through one uh, controller and this is the heavy duty controller. The only thing I'd say is, I'd still say get the separate controller. I mean, if you do it this way, it's great. You're only using one of your uh, power connectors. But I found when you've got the jacket on low, the lowest setting, the soles still get quite hot. So I would keep a separate controller because if you want to turn the jacket up, to the medium or hot position, the, these holes are gonna melt your feet. Um, or, you know, just 
not give you great control between the soles and the, and, and the vest. So I wouldn't use, I wouldn't use this on board for the soles with the heavy duty controller anyway. And of course, if you do use uh, the onboard jacket, it does mean you should really change the fuse in your supply. If you're gonna do your soles and your jacket through the one connection, I've just got, when you, when you buy a bit of Kais, it's a heated vest or something, you get multiple fuses and you just keep upping the fuses, the more heated gear you're hanging off the jacket. So if I wanna keep using these heated soles with the jacket, I'm gonna to have to change the fuse in this connection here rather than use this one. But as I say, it doesn't really work out. Well, not for me anyway, it doesn't really work out. So I'm gonna go back to using both connections. It was just an experiment to see if I could get away with one connection. But uh, now I'll just fuse each accordingly and use separate connections and separate controllers. I think it's a much better way of doing it. There we are. We'll put the bed. <laughs>